Well, hello, my friends. It's Charlotte Metcalf here. And today we are going to talk about tips and strategies for dealing with neck and chest wrinkles. Are you ready for that? <laughs> you know, so many of us pay a lot more attention to the wrinkles and the skin around our face, and we oftentimes neglect and forget about the neck and chest area. Well, the decollete is frequently on display, right? When we wear a low cut blouse, or we're in our swimsuit or what have you. So, you know, just like the skin everywhere else on your body, neglecting your decolletage area can result in overexposure um, to harmful UVA rays, um, resulting in sun damage, um, which results in premature wrinkling and other skin issues that we face. So, you know, where exactly is the decolletage? It's located south of your chin, and it in the in the beauty industry refer to the decolletage as your neck and chest area. So it is a critical cosmetic area that often does get overlooked. You know, just like your face, this part of your part of your body is prone to sun exposure and premature aging. It also is a common area for skin cancers to develop, according to. Um, board certified dermatologist, sun damage, especially repetitive intensive burst, that makes me think of the tanning bed, can result in collagen breakdown. We don't want that. Brown spots, we're always dealing with those, right? Crepey skin, yep, and visible blood vessels. All of these things are hallmarks of skin damage, and I'm sure you can relate. So how do we properly care for this delicate area? Okay, so in thinking about how to care for this delicate area called the decollete, um, you know, it's often prone to skin cancer due to exposure to sun damage, right? Um, although UV radiation from the sun is the main risk factor for skin damage, on the chest and neck area. Um, other factors such as genetic predisposition, just the natural aging process and pollution, all can affect the appearance of your decollete. We're gonna talk about seven key ways to take care of this delicate area, um, according to skin experts, basically. So um, number one is you want to avoid the sun when at all possible, right? That's just common sense, that's a no-brainer. A small dose of sunshine is just an excellent way to boost our mood and um, increase our vitamin D levels, right? But too much sun exposure can damage your skin and increase your risk of skin cancer. So, you know, just be mindful before heading outdoors that you're, you know, paying attention and um, to the time of day um, the hours between 10 and 4 p.m. have the most um, harmful UVA rays at that time. Um, you want to plan activities that will allow you to stay in the shade. Um, if that's not possible, you want to plan your clothing and making sure you have a hat and, of course, sunscreen. So we're going to move right in to talk about the importance of sunscreen. Broad spectrum sunscreen, of course, is a must, and you really need to apply it daily. You know, if you're gonna be spending time outdoors, whether it's just your morning walk, your midday walk, whatever, um, hanging out with the kids, going to the park, you know, you need to put on sunscreen. I really do love um, Neutrogena's Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. You know, this is not a paid advertisement or anything. I just happen to be, this happens to be one of my favorite sunscreens. Um, it's lightweight and it offers SPF 30. Um, basically, SPF 30 is the perfect amount of sun protection. You can go higher if you want, but at least you need to have the SPF 30. Now, although this is great for our body and everything, it's not as great for the face. And I really do wanna recommend the skincare that I love and use and have had such good results with is Mary Kay's TimeWise 3D line. And so Mary Kay has a wonderful day cream with SPF 30, broad spectrum. It protects against blue light radiation too. It's chocked full of antioxidants because it has encapsulated resveratrol. It's a wonderful skincare line and very affordable, TimeWise 3D. Okay, so for step two, we wanna go easy with the cleansing, okay? The skin on the decolletage area is thin and delicate. So to minimize damage, and you wanna avoid scrubbing this area when cleansing. 
So be, you know, scrubbing can irritate the skin and accelerate skin aging, according to the American Academy of Dermatology. So they recommend a more gentle approach to cleansing. Um, you know, you can obviously use a cleanser and with your hands, with your fingertips and water and do that. It's much more recommended than a washcloth. However, you know, if you're not taking a shower or a bath at night, we know that that can be a splashy mess and that's probably why we're not taking care of this area as well as we should be. Um, it's much easier to splash with water and just wash the face with your favorite cleanser than it is to do this whole area, right? So I have a perfect solution for you. I don't know if you've heard of micellar water, but micellar water has become one of my best friends for taking care of the decollete. And the reason being, um, actually this is a Mary Kay product, micellar water, and it comes, there's these little reusable bundles, um, reusable, reusable pads that are in a little bundle, making it very nice, you know, good for the environment, right? Um, but you can use any kind of cotton round. You put your micellar water right onto your cotton pad and you just take off the day, right? You don't have to rinse micellar water. Um, it's a surfactant. It breaks down dirt and grime. It breaks down face makeup, whatever. Um, and you don't have to rinse it off, which is really, really nice. So that is my solution for avoiding the splashy mess in the decollete area, okay? And then um, moving on to applying number three would be, uh, the third tip is apply topical retinoids in this area, okay? Topical retinoids are a derivative of vitamin A and they do help reduce fine lines and wrinkles by increasing collagen production, all right? So if you use retinoids or retinol on your face, you just wanna extend this treatment area to your neck and your chest at night. Retinol pr products are available by prescription or over the counter. And Mary Kay's got you covered with a wonderful, really nice high potent retinol, 0.5 in our clinical solutions, Dermo Cosmetics skincare lineup. Um, this is actually, we have a, um, a calming facial milk that goes with this product in the beginning as you're trying to get retin, as your skin is getting retinized or used to ret, getting used to retinol. So Mary Kay has a very gentle approach to getting you, your skin adjusted to the retinol and that makes it very, very nice. Um, so anyway, um, this particular retinol is one of the highest um, uh, potency with 0.5 that you can get over the counter. You really wanna check your percentage of retinol when you're shopping for that. A lot of times it is 0.05 and that would be a lot less, right? So um, it will really improve your skin texture, your skin tone. You will absolutely be thrilled with the results and your texture. It'll be super soft, your skin texture. So that is step number, tip number three. Now, okay, so tip number four, we want to exfoliate regularly. In addition to cleansing the skin on your decollete twice daily, mind you, consider using an exfoliating product or a mask a few times a week. This can help slough away dead skin cells on your neck and chest. And again, Mary Kay's got us covered very nicely with the Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. This is a wonderful product. It's dispensed and it has a, it's a pump. Um, it is a glycolic acid peel and it's gentle enough to use two times a week. And what's so great about this product is you put it on you a clean face, you massage it into your skin, it just goes on clear. Now, of course, you would be doing the whole area, right? So the neck and the chest and working your way up and you rub it on, you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you simply rinse it off, okay? So you would be rinsing and splashing your face, but when it comes time to getting this area off, when it comes to the exfoliating product, I would get a warm washcloth and just gently wipe it off. You don't have to do harsh scrubbing, okay? So that's what I do. Um, I was just gonna say that, um, oh, what's so great about glycolic peels and this one in particular is it is super effective in turning cells over so that new fresh cells can rise to the surface. It's a wonderful exfoliation treatment for yourself. You will definitely notice a difference. Your skin will feel silky smooth 
even after the first application. Um, this particular product actually lasts six months using twice a week, so that's wonderful. And um, it helps boost our collagen. So, you know, all these things are doing an, a really great job um, in, in boosting collagen, which helps plump our skin and just helps it look better. Okay, so number five is we've got to really make sure we moisturize and hydrate this area. And we also wanna pay attention to using products with antioxidants. So, you know, to enhance skin hydration, um, you want to use a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid um, for the skin on your decollete. Hyaluronic acid has the ability to decrease the appearance of wrinkles, improve skin hydration, firmness, and elasticity. And it keeps your skin looking more firm and youthful. And again, Mary Kay's got us covered so nicely in this area. We have a new Clinical Solutions um, booster out, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this. It's called an HA plus ceramide booster. HA is your hyaluronic acid. And of course, ceramide is an amazing and very important ingredient in skincare. It helps um, with skin barrier function, helps maintaining the moisture that we put into it. So hyaluronic acid gives you a lot more hydration. The ceramide helps lock and keep it in, lock it and keep it in, right? So this is a really wonderful product. It's um, in a little um, dropper bottle. You just squeeze it, drop a little bit into your palm of your hand, take it, and begin to massage it around the decollete. It is um, has a very nice um, oil finish, if you, wear, if you will, but it does not feel sticky or oily. It just absorbs beautifully. Boosters go on before serums, okay? So after a booster, a booster is intended to boost your serum. So I recommend the serum C plus E as your serum. This is loaded with antioxidants, which is important. And I just love this serum C plus E. The E is in here because it helps stabilize the C. And this is as close to pure vitamin C as you can, pretty close to as much as you could get. Um, we also have a vitamin, we also have a C booster as well that you can use, but I'm talking about hyaluronic acid and serum C right now. Um, this has a use up little bar here, which tells you how long, but you know, you can use it twice a day. It's going to last you six weeks. It's also in an airtight pump, um, super easy and convenient to use and wonderful. And then the last thing I might recommend is, um, of course, for moisturizing, you wanna have a super good night cream that you're putting on at night. And gosh, I just love Mary Kay's um, Repair Night Cream with retinol in it. And it's again in a pump, easy to use, very effective. You're just gonna cover that whole area. So, you know, um, we've got you covered there. Now, tip number six, you wanna wear clothing that provides shade. You just wanna think about this. The primary way to protect your decollete area, you know, is producing your own shade. Um, so you can do this by wearing a wide brimmed hat, clothing, you know, that's more of a crew neck line. Um, it's just covering your decollete area. Um, if you exercise in the sun, you know, just consider wearing athletic clothing with a UVA protection built into it. Um, and, you know, that will really help a lot. Uh, I do a lot of walking. I also go to my daughter's water polo games. My husband and I sit outside a lot to watch her games or to go walking. And, you know, we both wear long sleeve t-shirts now. We're in our mid fifties. It's just smart. The sun is not our friend anymore. And so my way of getting sun is with a good sunless tanner. That takes care of everything. So, um, Let's see, and tip number seven, gosh, see a dermatologist about in-office treatments. If you are having significant sun damage and it, you know, and advanced signs of aging on the skin in your chest and neck area, you might consider talking to a board certified dermatologist. You know, they are able to do treatments like microneedling, um, laser therapy, um, more, you know, in-house, deeper chemical peels than this is, would be considered a maintenance peel. It's gentle enough to use twice a week, right? It's not gonna make you red after. Um, they're able, to, th some of these treatments help with um, improved pigment, skin tone, and appearance in the whole decollete area. So, you know, 
consider that as well. But all in all, the bottom line is your skincare routine doesn't does not stop at your neck, at right? Your decollete, which includes your neck and chest area, chest area deserves just as much attention as other areas of your body. So adopting skincare routines that include cleansing, moisturizing, exfoliating, and applying topical treatments to your decollete will boost the appearance of this area, I promise. So you also wanna wear reg regularly wear sunscreen and protective clothing, and um, just keep your skin away from the sun as much as possible. So I hope you have enjoyed, and this has been helpful to you, these tips on taking care of this delicate decollete area. I'd like to give you one last final tip. Something that's been working for me is when I go into my bathroom at night to take my, you know, to take care of my face, I normally would have my pajamas on and sometimes a robe. And what I'm doing now is I'm leaving my pajama top off, putting my robe on, and then I'm able to get to this area. You know, you gotta have access. Like usually I have on like a crew neck pajama top, you know, <laughs> whatever. I don't always have on my slinky little satin, you know, chemise, but um, so, you know, that is just a simple little fix to um, take care of that area. So go, when you're doing your nighttime routine, you know, um, have nothing on underneath and put your robe on. And then you're gonna remember to do this area more as well. So I'm excited, I would love to hear, um, I would love to hear that you're excited about taking care of this area a little bit more too. And trust me, if you don't, it's gonna catch up with you later. And you know, you're gonna wish you had taken better care of it. All right, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.